Hi Binantians, the Ethereum merge is now scheduled for mid-September and I'm here with our Binance Australia CEO, Lee Travers, to learn more about the merge and what it means for our Binance users. Welcome. Thank you, Liam. First up, what is it? The ETH merge. Well, it is the most significant technology development that we've seen in the crypto markets in the last few years. So for crypto, it's absolutely huge. A lot of investors, traders, users, hodlers, developers are all interested in what it means for them, what it means for Ethereum. And I think fundamentally the bull case of, of why to do the technology upgrade uh, is fundamentally very, very sound. Uh, so we're talking about increasing the security of ETH. We're talking about setting the roadmap for more scalability, which means more transactions, lower fees. I uh, think from ESG investors, uh, reducing the environmental impact or reducing the energy intensity of the blockchain by 99% is absolutely massive. Um, and then from the investment perspective, looking at the capital flows. So we're likely to see the issuance rate or the inflation rate of Ether drop substantially, as well as be able to generate a return for ETH stakers. So it's a massive, massive development and uh, investors are, are very keen on seeing the outcome here. With the merge, are ETH network users going to see lower fees? Not immediately. Uh, it does, however, set the stage for greater scalability. So proof of stake enables things like um, greater throughput of transactions. We're currently at around, say, 10 to 30 transactions a second for Ethereum. Um, with some of the roll-ups that we're looking at going forward, we're looking at thousands of transactions per second in time. Um, and if we're talking about the amount of fees you're charged as a user, well, it's effectively the demand for block space on the Ethereum network. So if you've got more capacity to have more transactions, you're going to see lower fees. So it will be coming in time, yes, because of the ETH merge, but it's not an instantaneous drop in fees. So with Ethereum moving from proof of work to proof of stake, will we see more centralization? And is that a risk? I think generally the ability to run nodes is still going to remain the same post um, proof of stake um, as it was in proof of work. And, and fundamentally the majority of nodes are non-block producers and that isn't going to change under this current environment with, with proof of stake coming. Um, I think it's, it's fundamental to the decentralization of the Ethereum network that there are more nodes running and that won't be changing under a proof of stake situation. Traders have been looking at the Ethereum merge as a good buying opportunity and it's even being referred to as a triple halvening. Is the fundamental value increase from the merge already priced in? Well, it's certainly looking like a positive development and so far it's looking like it is on track uh, over the recent weeks. Um, there's been years and years of development going into this to make sure it is a, a positive uh, development. Um, and recently we have seen an increase, for example, in the Ethereum price, not just in the price of Ethereum, but in the ETH to BTC ratio. So Ether has been outperforming on the short and, and medium time horizons over Bitcoin. So I think some of that is positioning for this. Um, however, to say it's fully priced in, I think is, is not the right call here to make. It's not a, a one-off change that we're seeing. It's going to change fundamentally the flows of Ethereum. So where you've got now, um, ETH miners, um, they are receiving Ethereum uh, for securing the network. That's going to move to stakers, and stakers have a much lower cost of production, of receiving that. They're also, by nature, all holders anyway. So I think we're going to see a lot less selling from the validators in the future, plus the amount of issuance going to those stakers rather than miners drops 90%. So there's a huge amount of supply that's going to be reducing, as well as the general inflation rate of the Ethereum network changing. So I see that as not a one-off event. It's going to be happening for the next month, year, et cetera, ongoing. 
as long as we see these sort of demand levels and potentially demand increasing because of the increased capacity, the increased ability to use the network, uh, it's looking like quite a rosy picture for Ethereum. So what sort of risks are there to the merge? Well, there's still some risks. It's not a recent issue that this Ethereum network's being upgraded, moving to proof of stake, etc. That's been written into the white paper, that's been discussed, that's been talked about for years. Uh, it's effectively been you know, Vitalik's vision to move over to this uh, validation um, and security consensus mechanism. So there's been a lot of community development, there's been a lot of testing in certain environments, um, and I think this launch that is happening is, is looking like that they've tried to de-risk that as much as possible. So that's good. Um, the risks that you're seeing is probably maybe expectations. So do the majority of participants or users on the Ethereum network expect lower fees day one? They may be disappointed. It's going to take some time, as we talked about. Um, I think the other one that you're looking at there is that uh, from a timing perspective, we've got concrete timelines now. Um, you know, the, the merge is expected to transition over that September 15th, you know, weekend, where the Australian Crypto Convention will be on and hopefully we'll be celebrating. Um, but there may be some further delays. Um, and then I think finally, from a price perspective, um, if there's major expectations for uh, price appreciation um, post, the, post the merge, I'm not sure there is. But if there is, you know, potentially there's some disappointment there. So I think there's still some risks from a pricing perspective, technology and, and expectations, uh, but it has been de-risked uh, as much as possible. And it's not a, a short-term fix to a recent problem that's happened. It's been well thought out, well planned, and it's years in the making. So hopefully it goes well. What happens if I currently hold ETH in my Binance account? Well, Binance is a good place to hold your ETH during the ETH merge. Binance will support the ETH merge. Um, it's probably important to note, though, that there may be some suspension of deposits and withdrawals over that period. So do keep an eye out on the Binance blog, on the Binance page, so that you can ensure that those deposits and withdrawal periods are, are managed. Um, around the September 6th to the September 15th is when the merge will be occurring. So that's sort of the period that we're looking at as, as being affected. Um, but ultimately, with regards to a hard fork, if there is a proof of work coin, um, your account will be credited one for one with the Ethereum proof of work coin. Um, Binance has done that in the past and, and will do so again. Um, and we'll be able to manage the deposits and withdrawals when the network resumes and there is you know, confidence in that blockchain operating correctly. And finally, the Ethereum merge does have many investors bullish on Ethereum. Do you think Ethereum will ever flip Bitcoin? And if so, when? Interesting question. Um, we're seeing certainly some appreciation versus Bitcoin into the merge period. From a market cap perspective, what are we looking at? 400 billion circa for Bitcoin and about half that for Ethereum. So it, it certainly has been strengthening relative to Bitcoin. Um, you know, my personal views, I'll keep them to myself, but that's uh, certainly something for the market to decide what's more valuable. Um, the ability to store your value forever in a decentralized network, transfer that to anyone in the world, or for a global supercomputer. Um, what will be greater in value? Or will Ethereum have competitors itself and will there be an Ethereum flipping? I'm not too sure, but certainly excited to watch and find out. Well, thank you so much for your wisdom today, Lee. It's been great to chat through the merge with you. I hope you all found some value from the video today and please let us know what you thought in the comments. Until next time, thanks a lot. Thank you. Great to be here with you.